We'll guide you through how to fix being unable to download apps on your iPhone. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. It can be super annoying when you can't download apps on your iPhone, so let's get into some fixes. First of all, make sure the internet is working on your iPhone. So you can go and open up a web browser like Safari, and you can go and search something or go to a site and go and see if it then works. If it works, then great, we can get on to the next fix. However, if it isn't working, what you should do is try testing your internet connection on another device to go and see if it's a problem with your overall internet connection or router. If you find there is, then you'll need to go and fix that. However, if it's just a problem on your iPhone, keep watching as we're going to do a restart which will hopefully fix it in a moment. The next thing you should do though is just make sure there's plenty of storage on your phone. To do that, you can open up your settings, scroll down and click on general, and then you want to click on iPhone storage. And at the top here, you can see how much space you've got. So I've got about over 50 gigabytes, which is plenty. Every app will have different space requirements, but just make sure you've got plenty of iPhone storage. And to get more storage, you can go and delete apps, clear photos, and that the main way. So you can do that there. Now go and see if that fixed your problem. If it still didn't, then what we're going to do is try doing a restart. And this will hopefully go and fix any software problems which could be causing this. To do that, you press the increase volume button, the decrease, and you start holding the power button. Now you just continue to hold the power button until the Apple logo goes and appears. In between that, your phone screen will go black. Like so, but keep holding it. There's the Apple logo and we can go and let go. And what you can do now is try downloading an app and seeing if it's now working. If it still isn't working, then what's worth doing is logging out of your Apple ID and logging back in. And now hopefully your problem has now been solved. If it has, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to catch you in the next one.